um, live. And so, yes, we still will have our premiere later today. I have on my desk a side-by-side -side journal that I have been working on. And so I'm so excited. So I finished this um, as far as the November challenge. Um, what qualifications and things that needed to be done. And what qualifications and things that needed to be done. And I, it's like I even turned it to off and it still still did it get you get the the volume whether you want it or not okay so um so this is the side by side journal we worked on this in a video yesterday the um, tutorial of how I made the cover is going to be Saturday and Sunday's um video now the one thing after making it i think the back needs a little bit needs to be a little bit more sturdy so i am going to add um add a piece to the back and i i was going to put it on the inside but i think i'll go ahead and put it on the outside i have this piece of um board and look it's going to fit perfectly across there i will make it into a pocket you know just because that's how i do things i love pockets and i cannot lie and so i am going to add that but at the same time it will be it'll help so um you're probably going to want to add a third or fourth cereal box um if you're making this when when on when i when you see the Saturday video. I think, you guys, I think I can just go straight on with this. Hi, Kiri, welcome. Welcome, missed you yesterday. So, um, I'm going to find some, I, I thought I had some more of, I moved things around. You know, you should never move things. <laughs> ah. Good. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, so I'm going to add this tissue that I've been using in this this journal, and we're going to do it with the um, with the Tombow glue stick. So there we go. Yeah. So a new New challenge starts today, and I'm excited about it. So um, that'll be at 1030. But I wanted to do a couple more things to this, um, this journal. So I was like, okay, well, I will go live. And, and do it. And see if there's anybody out there early in the morning. It uh, looks like it's me and you, Carrie. <laughs> okay. So just adding that. And then we'll go ahead and see about scissors. I had gotten this tissue a couple years ago at Dollar General. I have not seen it this year. I did pick up some of their tissue this year. So I'm just gonna go around the edge. This. So, still deciding pocket or just put it on and oh I'm sorry to hear dumb old work getting in the way okay so I'm going to I'm going to cut this because it, it'll be under 
you won't see it. Oh my gosh, your first one you've ever missed. Ah. Well, I can tell you that it's a good one and um, it's, uh, I think it's a good one for December for a very busy month. So that's, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> Um, the video is the video is about thirty minutes long, so okay, yeah. So there we go. Gosh, this this feels amazing. This would make a great journal cover right here. Oh my gosh, I might have to do that just to make just. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Okay, so I have my ribbon going around. Oh, there's, I gave, um, I put the stickers in. Okay. So, um, you know what? I think because we need this to be, um, it's to help. To, to help strengthen this, I'm going to just glue it. I am not going to um, to mess with uh, the pocket. I th I think we need I think we need the the strength of as much of it touching as possible. So Hi, we had some people come in. We do have a live chat going on. You can just hit that live chat button right down below the picture there and come on over and say hello. I am working on the um, side by side journal. We did, we were happy, we, we, there were troubles yesterday here on YouTube when <laughs> it took three videos um, for the, for, for it to happen but we filled that with embellishments and moving on to a different um yeah here we go a different bottle of fabric tack oh you know what i could use the big one for this because i need a lot of fabric tack <laughs> Because I don't, I, I need this to stick. And it's going on that felt. So. So on uh, Saturday and Sunday, I will have the videos of how I made the cover. And then the Patreons, the Dear Julie Julie Patreons, they got the video of how I did the binding. And then yesterday's video, the live video, was me filling it with the embellishments that we made in November. So yes, I did actually finish my November challenge in November, but I wanted to add a few more things. So here we are live so that we can add those few more things. And then while I was well, actually, it was when I was showing this to Tom. I was like, you know what? I think it's it's just a little bit weaker here on the back than I want it to be. I need it to be um, I need it to be strong. <laughs> okay, so I have a cup. I actually think I have two Christmas books that are set up in this orientation in my Christmas book collection. And I haven't gotten my Christmas decorations out yet, so, and and of course I'm doing I was doing this by memory, but what happened was if you you see how, what how big those those are these were, the sixty pages and the sixty embellishments that were required for November, 
and I decided to make a mini journal. And then I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be huge. How can I get all of this stuff and make it one? And I love how it turned out. So we have this big piece of real estate back here in the back. And I just really want that piece to stick good, you guys. So I'm taking the time to, to stick it down. So, there we go, I think. Okay, so that will give us that. And it, oh my gosh, it's so much more sturdy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there, there is what we have. And I did go ahead and put together this little setup of stickers and we'll put them right there in that front pocket. Okay. So I was thinking about adding something to the front. Um, but first <laughs> we're going to let that dry and I'm going to pull out the parchment. You see, we've got a paw print or a claw print here. And it was, it was hanging up. So apparently somebody thought that they should maybe um, <laughs> claw. <laughs> sharpen, they tried to sharpen their claws on my parchment paper. I don't know. So this was, um, I had this on the table. And um, when I was coffee dyeing paper. And it worked really good because it also coffee dyed my parchment paper. And what I want to do is I'm going to make some tattoos. I'm going to use the archival ink. And I am going to come over and grab some of some stamps. So I have this one that says... Joy expressed, loved, love shared, a miracle celebrated. So I'm going to put that one down. And these will go along with, I'm going to just um, do a set of tattoos to go along with with the journal and that way you can put them in where you want them. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to make a set for another set. <laughs> okay. So there's that one. And maybe one for mine. Okay, so if you haven't seen the tattoos before, I um, I print or I stamp on this and then I go ahead and rip these out. And when you put these on coffee dyed paper, it kind of blends right in and becomes part of the coffee dyed paper. The thing I like about it is that... Um, with that blending, if you are, sorry, I'm looking for an avocado dyed page because I have a couple of avocado dyed things that I'm doing. This one's got doily print on it, but that's okay. So, I'm going to do a couple of these. And I'll have them ready for the pink Christmas um, journal that I'm gonna that I wanted to make, and the other journal. Okay, so now I've I've got several of these to use. So the mass making part of it. Oh, 
Oh, we've had several come in. Come on in and say hello. We are here with a live chat. Okay, so these I have. Um, I love the one that says Get Your Mary On. Okay. So I'm going to stamp that. Put that over there because there's a big wrinkle. What, is there any coffee dyed paper down here so I could, sh oh, that's where the cat print is. Can you see the paw print? <laughs> Carrie says, hi everyone. Come on in and say hello. We're in the live chat. This is a live, I'm really here. I'm doing this right now. Okay. So let me show you how, how that works. If I can grab a... Whew. That was not an earthquake. That was me hitting the... <laughs> Hitting the thing. Okay, so if you have a piece of coffee dyed paper, okay. Hi, Bonnie. Welcome. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take the the Mary. Get your Mary on. Well. Go ahead and rip around it. I like ripping because it's much more forgiving um, looking. Then, okay, and then go ahead and do this. And then we're able to put it right on our paper, our coffee dyed paper, and it will just like go right in it, okay? You can still see that it's been attached, but the quick look at it, it looks like it's part of the paper. Hi, Cheryl, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, there you go. That's a tattoo. And it is one of my favorite things to do. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the avocado dyed parchment paper because you can do the same thing with your dyed papers. If you have Easter egg dyed paper and Easter egg dyed um, parchment paper, you can do the same thing. It is uh, really, really a cool technique. So, like I said, one of the things that I like to do is go ahead and um, go through and I'm going to get a couple more of these. And we'll just do the ones. Okay, well, this is on top, so we'll... Okay, so... Mass stamping and getting things ready. Again, I like them. Um, I'll, I'll be ripping these. So, so there's that. Okay, around the, around the paw print. Okay, where's the one for, there we go. Okay, so this journal will come with a set of tattoos and um, using some of my favorite stamps. Um, oh, I love, don't get, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. <laughs> 
I love collecting Christmas stamps. I, um, I have a, a little box. They, they, they stay in the little box so that I can, they have their own place. I have so, you guys, I have so many rubber stamps. I'm a, yeah, it's a little crazy. Um, I used to sell what is now close to my heart back when they were dots. And I sold while, when they went through the name change as well. Um, and so I have, I have hundreds and hundreds of stamps. It's hard to use them all. <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine. <laughs> but these are my favorites. Oh, oh well. Oh, it's because the stamps moved over. But doing it like this instead of stamping directly into the journal... Uh, for me, works really well because I mess up. <laughs> I mess up. Okay. So, there we go. So that gives me uh, one for me, one for the, the other journal that I'm working on. The, and then two for the pink and one for the, for the journal that, um, the side-by-side -side journal. So, um, yeah, so that one, I like that. Okay, so I'll be doing a couple of other ones. I did already use the... Um, okay, so this one has wishing you a very Merry Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. May your days be merry and bright. This is a great one. And like I said, these I've been collecting these for years. So, um, but tattoos are awesome to be able to, um, Whoop. I guess I've never used this December 25th. Might be because I have a couple of really cool um, December 25th digitals that I like to use. So, I don't know. I don't know. moved okay so I'm gonna I'll I'll continue to add more um, but then what I'll do is I'll just be ripping them and they'll have a little um, envelope just like the stickers did and that way you can add them yourself into the side-by-side -side journal so the side-by-side -side journal will be in the Etsy shop tomorrow. Um, the Patreons will get to see it first. That's one of their, their perks is that they get first dibs on journals. And so, yeah. So I'll be doing a little set of tattoos and adding that in so that they can put them in the places that they want them in here, okay? So, um, you know, there are a few of the, like the parchment paper, it works on that also, okay? So it works on the parchment paper, but of course, it, and it, it will work on this. You'll see it a little bit, but it'll work. But you can also come and put it on these, any of the pages. Okay, there are some uh, coffee dyed pages in here. 
So if you didn't get a chance to see uh, the embellishment videos, okay. Um, but that is another thing, and I'll have, what do we've got? We've got five so far. I'll probably have like 10 of the tattoos to add in there. And um, so there you go. So the other thing I said we would do is we would have a little flip through. Oh yeah, I want to do some, want to do something to the cover. Um, let's see. I do have some of this. Let's see what we have in way of the digitals. Okay. I, I still have some of this that we were using. I have the little tiny pieces from this. Uh, this is, some of it is the 12 Days of Christmas Joy and, the, and some of it is Christmas Joy, the digital. Hi, Crafting Cat. <laughs> Are you sleepless? Oh, look, we've got a stamp in here. Okay. I love these. I didn't use these in the journal, so maybe one of these would be fun on the front. I, I think it's kind of cool because we've got Santa on the one side. <laughs> but... Let's see. Whatever I make, it's going to have to go underneath the ribbon. And I think we can do this little guy. I'm going to um, I'm going to rip it because you know that's what I like to do. I love to rip. Love to rip things. I think the Christmas Joy and the 12 Days of Christmas Joy are two of my favorite digitals. Oh, yes, Cheryl, Cheryl you're going to you're going to love that, I think. So this has the vintage um fabric from uh, Big Mama. She had sent me that and I love it. We need to make this a little smaller. Okay. So that can go on there. I think we want them above the ribbon. I don't want to lose the sled though. So maybe like that. Yeah, I don't want it sideways. Uh, they almost make it to be down under. I don't know. Up on top, middle, or down under? Yeah, like Carrie says, the tattoo thing, um, I, like, if I have a journal that is totally finished, um, I had another journal sitting here. Oh, here. So this one is supposed to go in the shop. Um, so if I have a journal that's totally finished like this, and um, I want to add something, like this is a tattoo here, the little... Hedgehog is a tattoo. Um, now we did do tattoos. There, the leaf is a tattoo. And I added those in after the journal was finished. Um, blinded by the ribbon, middle. Okay. Okay, thank you. We'll put it in the in the bin, middle. Oh, is the is the ribbon? Um, Glaring, I'm sorry. So in the middle, 
Okay. I think I want to layer it onto something. Um, let's see. Should I do... Do we have some? How about just plain... Do we have any just plain <laughs> coffee dye papers? It's all got the grid up here. Whoa! It's not an earthquake. It's my elbow. Sorry. Two times. Okay, so here we go. Okay, well, you're not going to really see the... Oh, their eyes were covered. Okay. Yeah. I really like this glue, and it works good um, even with this uh, coffee dyed paper. Oh, yeah, yesterday <laughs> my no my um, volume went off and they and that happened also about the same time they thought I had an earthquake and we couldn't get the volume to come back. But it was um, I, I had a phone call. Which made me mad. I didn't, I'm like, really? <laughs> um, you know what? I think we'll, we'll also add, you get, we're in Canada. You get the, you get the aftershock. Oh, really? An earthquake? Yeah, so I'm going to... Layer this, and I may have uh, made it too big for the edge. <laughs> but what I can do is have it um, have a place on the right hand side that will um, go into the hitch post fastener. Yeah. Okay. So let's figure out where we want to put it. Okay. Where do we want it? Okay, and then we'll come into the hitch post fastener so that I know where I want to cut. Okay, so hitch post fastener is right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually cheat and just give it a little nudge here. Well, I thought I felt one the other day, and I looked on everything, and we did not have one. And I still don't know what. It wasn't a sonic boom. And I was like, well, did something move on the couch? So I was moving the couch, and it didn't make the, the noise or the jiggle that um, I heard and felt, so... I was like, okay. Okay, I'm going to put some on here also. So hopefully the two will grab each other.
<laughs> Yesterday, I just really just wanted to make sure that I finished the challenge and got it done. <clears throat> so, um, but I still wanted to do some of these things. I wanted to add something to the cover. Okay. Now I will um, I will add some fingernail polish to that as well. Oh, hey. Okay, so I'm gonna check this and if it doesn't seem to wanna stay down because of the dryer sheet, I may have to go in and put some fabric tack in there. So you can see there's still a lot of room um, in this that you can uh, can continue to, to add some fun things. I'm thinking maybe, do I have any of the Christmas labels left that I made? I don't think so. Okay, let's see what's over here. What's in this corner? Oh, we've got a pretty Anna Griffith tags. So these are from my stash. They're pretty too. Now that might be fun to put on the front. It kind of offsets that. You still have Santa because I like Santa where he looks like he's going into the into the room. Oh, you're very welcome, Cheryl. I am so I am so glad to be able to do that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we'll layer this to match the other one. And then you can um, put a title in here. Like you could put the year if you wanted to. So I'm sorry that I'm way down here. So today at 1030 Pacific Standard Time, we have the premiere and we are, it is the December Junk Journal Challenge uh, details. So, um, I hope you'll come and check that out. It got the approval of the Patreons. They they think it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be a good one. I think I'll be able to finish it. And possibly even in the time frame that is recommended in the, in the video. Um, yeah. So I think it's a good one for December when we're all so busy. I think we'll still be able to, to do something. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add this onto the dryer sheet also. I like to use the dryer sheet in the Christmas ones because it reminds me of snow. <laughs> and our mountains are supposed to get snow and then sometime in the next four days. So that's uh, something to look forward to here. Possibly, possibly some rain for some of Southern California. Apparently that... Um, wind coming from Hawaii stopped and so we didn't have enough, enough turmoil to make rain out of the clouds that are coming because you know you need dirt to make rain so to make it fall 
supposedly, I guess. That's, that's my understanding. <laughs> so since we didn't get the, the turmoil. Okay, so I just, I just cut around it. You had snow and it already melted. Ah. Well, we had snow on Thanksgiving a few years ago, and so those pictures have been showing up in my in my Facebook, and, and that has been so cool. Um, the snow was the year that my mom and dad both passed away, and of course, that that would be the first Thanksgiving after losing both of them, and so having snow, I always. When, whenever my kid, my grandkids would come to visit, I would wish it would snow while they were here. I was like, oh gosh, I wish it would snow because they'd been to the snow, but they've never been, had never been in the snow. Um, so I was like, and, and it snowed and it snowed and it snowed. <laughs> it was so, I mean, it was a real actual snow that stuck for a couple days and yeah, amazing memories and I considered it a, a blessing because you know our Thanksgiving was hard because mom and dad were not here but we had new memories and the snow really really helped with that I thought Okay, so I'm going to push this down here. I want it to be below Santa. So, Virginia and Colorado and... Canada and I'm in Southern California. I don't know what the degrees is right now. Let's see. Let's see if I can see. Move it over there. Here we are. We are 38 degrees right now. Our low, oh, our low was only 36. We're actually warm right now. <laughs> 36, 43, 41, 42 are going to be um, our lows. I can't believe, you guys, we had one freezing day. One. One. One freezing day. And I lost my entire garden in one day. And since then, we have not been below 35 or 36. I'm like so bummed. If I would have covered my garden, I might have still been getting tomatoes and might have been able to have a tomato on my hamburger last night. I miss my garden. Okay, so there's that. I think that's really cool. You know what? I'm going to take that 2022 off of this journal because... Because I can. I'm going to take the 2022 off this one and put it on that one. Okay, so I reinforced the back like I wanted. And I have... added the panels. I've started on the the uh, tattoos that I wanted to add to the to the thing. Oh. Well, I um I gave some away. And I did go out and I picked all the 
all the red tomatoes the day before and then and then all the green tomatoes that were out there that I could see. <laughs> it was pretty amazing how many I missed when uh you know when everything <laughs> when everything turned brown. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I'm I missed a few a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna add that 2022 right on there. So this has the double hitch post and you just tie it in a bow. And I think that that, um, that turned out looks really pretty. And it can sit like this so this, that you see the front. Um, I do wanna add some more to it. Now the other thing was is for the November challenge, it had a tassel. So I could add, I should add the tassel in here as well. And I was thinking it should go here on, on the, on the center. Because I, I don't know. I don't, it could go, you know what? It could go on a clip and go on the side. So, oh, wow, we have 10 people now. If you're out there and you want to join us, we do have, this is a live video, and we have a live chat happening. We'd love to have you join us. Just hit that live chat button. Come on in and say hello. Oh, I have this on my famous neon green. have a little, little claspy clip. So if I do this, oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I can just put that on the side here. And do you see that? And then go ahead and just fold it, fold it down. I kind of like it up better. Okay, so the fluffy tassel has been attached. And with that, all of my November stuff is, is here. I don't know about this. I don't like it sticking up. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. See, now you could go ahead if you wanted to and add one of the tattoos that you liked onto the front. I'm not going to because I want to to leave some things that you can add. Um, let's see. We did use this lace on the ends. I just think this it needs needs some stuff up here. There's that. And we have we have this. Um Cheryl, the way that I made the cover, that is going to be Saturday and Sunday's premiere videos, okay? Um, I was making it yesterday, and the video was too long to be one video. And by the time I finished, it was not going to upload in time 
for a video for tomorrow. So, um, so yesterday's video, or for yesterday, excuse me. So yesterday's video, I went live after I had finished getting it together and we put all the embellishments in it that I made during the month of November. Um, because this, this was my November challenge. I'm going to go ahead and use my number 544 gold glitter fingernail polish from Dollar Tree. And um, I'm going to add it to the, where there's greenery. I've already done that pretty much through the, the journal. So she has some flowers and so does she. We'll go ahead and put that up there. It dries quickly. The glitter does not get all over the place. Just make sure that you have a well-ventilated place that you're doing this. And the, the fingernail polish, again, is from Dollar Tree. You could do this with glitter glue also. But I do it with the, the fingernail polish because it dries real fast. It works. Yeah, so today's premiere video is the um, the details for the December challenge. And then tomorrow we'll start the challenge, um, but I'm going to end up being out of order because it is Friday. So there will be a Friday freebie. I did add the Thanksgiving um, freebie to the buy me a coffee. Dear Julie, Julie, buy me a coffee. It's free over there. I also added some December daily prompt ideas, um, especially there's one that is like favorites and memories that you might use if you don't feel like you have a lot going on this year but you wanted to do something for December daily. And then there's one with ideas of things to document for um, if you are doing like this year's December daily. Okay. So there's that. There's that. I still, I still think it needs something. Of course, this was from the other I like that. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna add some um, ink to that and put that down there. I think I like that. It's the sweetest Christmas, and that is from the journal that I did <laughs> earlier this week because I was procrastinating about getting this <laughs> this cover done. <laughs> so I just uh, did some creative avoidance and made another journal. And, um, and luckily I sold it. So that was cool. So I think I, I think this will be cute. I'm using the brushed corduroy. It looks pretty close to my coffee dyeing. So you know what? maybe just add a little. I like, I want the white, the whiteness. I like the whiteness, but I'm going to add just a little to that. Oh, I didn't, did I? Yeah, I did. Got a, little, got a little bit of fingernail polish. It wasn't quite dry. Ah, oh, you have been seeing them at, oh, that is going to look really cute. I think that is going to look really, now look. Eggnog is up there. <laughs> Way to represent. I like eggnog. Oh, down here. 
down here on the lace is where we're putting that. So I think this turned out really cute. Um, okay. We'll go through here and see if, um, if I'm missing anything. And at the same time, it'll give you a chance to see the journal. I do have these, these cards and I possibly could put some of those in here. Um, so yeah. So how are we? We're still a little damp. So you know what? Um, we already, so I need to make some more tattoos. You know what? We've got over here. I could go ahead and I'll cut out, well, while this is drying, I'll cut out a few of these small images. So these are the images that are in the Christmas Joy um, digital. Well, I don't need to cut them out. I think I'll just cut the block. Okay, that'll give them that block. And I think we'll do the children up here. Okay, so there's that block and that block. So these are gonna go with this journal. So um, when you're putting your pages together, this just gives you a little bit more e ephemera that you can use in the journal. Okay, so five more tattoos I'll be adding. And then there's this also. So these are greetings from the postcards. I don't do, I, I do a couple of networking events sometimes, not lately, but I don't do craft fairs anymore at this time. I just found that um, I would spend too much time <laughs> sitting and waiting for people to come and buy stuff. So here we go. Um, so this, this gets tied in a bow. Okay, so you've got that tied in a bow. And that is our beautiful cover. And it is holding our side-by-side 60-plus -side page journal. And we did add the fluffy tassel over here on the side with Santa. And we did add this piece to the back. And... Um, <clears throat> And that was for stability. It just seemed like it needed it. Needed it. <laughs> so we added this piece to the back. And it has made it much stronger. Okay. So, oh, their advent calendar is cool. Okay. So um, then we added, we just added this to the front and I really like, I really like the way that turned out. Okay. So now we open it up and this is where we get the side by side. We have two signatures over here and two signatures over here. And so starting with this side, I have a pocket here. And in the pocket, 
I'll be putting all of the little goodies. Okay, so I may have to put some of them in on the other side, but I think that this will be good. Okay, I have the envelope that was made out of the privacy or out of the junk mail, and I have this was file folder day. We made this tag with some note papers in it on file folder day, and this was a this was actually a tag from when I went to scrapbooking made simple and um, Stacy's big sale a, a couple years ago and I had saved all the tags and I put a calendar on top and then I stamped it with one of my fun little stamps and then we painted on these so I painted Holly on there and there's the the rest of the stickers that I didn't use while I was making this so those are in there this is our photo corners so I made photo corners as one of my embellishments and used one of those um, sentiments from the the um, postcards so the holly has the fingernail polish on it and we added this fun, oh my gosh, I love this. I got this at TJ Maxx. And it end, it was 10 yards and it ended up 50 cents a yard. So this was index card day. We've got another one of the little tags. And this time I um, painted it and added. Excuse me. I added some uh, glitter and a card that says that it was a little just a little miniature card and here is another one of another tag and we did kind of the tattoo idea um so there we go oh look we've got a place that can get something i think we'll just grab one of these cards uh, let's do Frosty. He's He can go in here. He's also way in the back. But this was from um, a gift box that I also got at TJ Maxx. And you're going to see these little poinsettias throughout. And those were made with a punch. Then we have the sparklies. Ledger paper. I added long lace. I call it long lace because it kind of falls over. Hi, Big Mama. Welcome. Here is the paper clip that has the little candy cane made out of a pipe cleaner on the edge, and it's holding a double-sided guest check. So there's six, at least 60 embellishments in here that were made during the November challenge. This is one of Tim Holt's little cards, and I just embellished that. This is an image from the um, uh, paper ornament, antique paper ornament digital kit. This is here in case you want to add it to the edge for day four. Um, you also got a, a large flinch card for here. You have um, your envelope here. This could be, you could cut this and put something inside of it. Here we have a time card, green on one side, red on the other, with the enjoy. I'm trying to use things from my stash, from, I mean, from, like, my, my stash dash. Hi, Z. Welcome. <clears throat> Hi, Anthony. Okay, this was the double, double tuck. So, it's a tuck with a tuck under it, and so it gives you places to put Two places to put things. Here's one of my, they're saying it's a neon green tags. <laughs> I, I really like this with the bingo charm down here. And we have the beautiful edge on this one. And it has a flip over here. So I've added a flip flop. Can we see that? I can't see because... The stamps are on top of my phone. Okay. Then we added one of the edge, one of the ready edges here. 
Um, here was my full moon. So that was something in the sky, and the full moon is on the 7th in December. Kind of funny, Tom and I were talking about something, and, and the the phases of the moon came up. And I said, he, he was saying, so is it a full moon right now? And I said, no, the full moon is on the 7th. And then I said, oh, and by the way, I know that because... <laughs> Because of making that little thing. So, yes, the full moon is on the 7th. And this was a little card that I made. And I went ahead and added it to this little flip flap. We have a fabric flip. And it has a ledger under it. This is our second signature here. Image is from the um, paper ornament. Excuse me, antique paper ornament digital. We have a flip up. I'm trying not to rip anything or anything. Flip up, flip down with one of those little images made into a stamp and some stamping and more holly. And then this is uh, one of the cards uh, from the from the paper ornament kit, or this might have been a freebie Friday. Some more of the lace. This is one of the pages from the new kit. Yay! Missed you too. Missed you too. Oh, there we go. So this one um, is an over the page, but I went ahead and used it for this pocket because this pocket is so large. And I used a um, line stamp so you have places to write. And we added a tie-on tag here. And this, instead of just making another large pocket, I went ahead and made it a flip. So um, you have more space for writing or decorating. Here's the Rudolph. And how, what is he stuck on? There's our It's a Wonderful Time of Year tag. And don't get your tinsel in a tangle with Rudolph there. And this is the center of this signature. We have a large pocket here. And inside we have this fun little flippy things so you could add a photograph here and you can tell your story on this tag that is the quilt I made with my grandma when I was a little girl and all the fabrics on there were um, dresses the scraps from dresses that they she and my mom had made me and my sister um, we have this little notebook and it's just paper clipped on so it just has some paper and it has some stamping in there. Okay. And last but not least, this is the garden one. And I had a this little stamp and then I turned it into a label and added the poinsettias and the lace. So the back of the journal is what you have here. So now this one we can flip over, and pull it over, and now we have the second. So that was, um, I didn't time anybody. I, oh my gosh, I did not. Oh my, oh, Erlene, my, um, I can't fix it. Why can't I fix it? Okay, I deleted a message. I didn't mean to. Okay. My you guys, I didn't do that. The the digital did that. Okay. So, um and it won't let me undo it. So 
I'm sorry. You, you, you're in timeout for five minutes, Erlene. And I, huh, the journal did it. <laughs> when it, when it went down, the hitch post fastener did it. I am so sorry. Okay, so this one, now you have this big black, the blank piece back here that you can put pictures, you could add pockets, whatever. But also over here where the ho, ho, ho is, that's one of my embellishments that I made. And you have a place that you can put something under. So um, then I have a double tuck over here. We've decorated this. We have, this is made from a paint chip. Just a little card. And this is the double tuck. So I made an envelope out of, this was the um, Friday freebie and made a double tuck out of it, okay? And then inside here, we have this cute little, it was a guest check and we flipped it up and added this. And so we've got that there, okay? And that goes right in there. So Car Carrie, um, my journal um, put, <laughs> it, it put Arlene in, in um, time out. I didn't mean to, but the, just so you know, when you come in and see that, I didn't do it. Well, I guess I did. So, so she's in timeout for just a couple more minutes. I am so sorry, Ar Erlene. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so um, paint chip. And we turned the card into a little flip. This journal ends up with enough um, pages that you can do two pages for each day in December. You've got a stack of note here made out of... Um, lightweight guest checks another image from the digital kit um, that's from the paper ornament antique paper ornament here's my antique ribbon closure and this i believe was one of the friday freebies you can get the friday freebies in the scrap all about it with dear julie julie facebook group and in the buymeacoffee.com slash dear julie julie and they are free Okay, um, there's uh, an edge there, so another one of our edges. This is a belly band, and it was made from the image from the, I think that was a Friday freebie also. We've got this that is a paint chip. So in November, we had to make 60 embellishments. There's my waterfall embellishment. And then it has Santa is hiding behind there. And we have one of the drum stickers. So that was our third signature. And this is the fourth. This was my something that flies. Remember, my 60th birthday was in November. And the challenge was based on my favorite things. So we had to put... Uh, my favorite things in here. And so there's some bling. Bling was uh, one of the things that we had to do. Something that flies was one of the things. Here we have a bingo um, bottom tuck. And then this was from Index Card Day. And I made a little notebook. I showed you several things that you could do with index cards that day. And then here's my little snowman. And he was made out of a cute little tag that I had and, and leftover, um, leftover stuff. Erlene, are you still here? Can you, can you visit yet? Are you back? This was my banner paper clip and I put the word believe. And this was all scraps that were on the table that I used. This is my little shaker card. Yay! She's here. I apologize. So, so, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Okay, so shaker card out of file folder. So that was on file folder day. This was um, Edge using a uh, guest check and some of the tissue. Look at there, some plain pages. 
and this is the center of this one and we have a circle um, belly band here that we could put a tag in be careful when you're over here Julie don't don't touch <laughs> don't touch the, the screen okay yeah that's that's a pretty thin one I was like yeah these are not I knew they weren't gonna fit why did I even try that in front of all of you <laughs> okay so back here I have one of these we can put that in there so Santa's here um, that's from the paper ornament this is from the game piece what characters balloon traditionally brings up the rear in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade it's the answer is Santa Claus that was from a Trivial Pursuit card um, I did add this little tab here um, I made a little tag that you can write on using an envelope and on a tag this one is this was an envelope and this time I secured it in the center and that gave me places here and here and here and here to add things so there's our snowman from the um, paper ornament the antique paper ornament digital kit and I added a little snowflake here and the word delight and so embellishments in a dear Julie Julie challenge you need to have a base and three other things that um, enhance or embellish your embellishment so this was a tag but I used a, a coin envelope and then my three things were a digital, um, a charm, and the delight, which came off of ribbons that worked when some when they felt like it. So there it's being used as a sticker. Okay, so this is the center of the last signature. There's some of my dad's journal. And um, we have a postcard file card so I made a file card out of a postcard I think that was a Friday freebie also and then we have excuse me pocket with the drum and some more of that fun 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 stuff we have a December 24th here and behind that is a place that you can put things and another image from the antique paper ornaments digital kit and then we have a fold out with pockets so there's a pocket here and a pocket here I used one of the stickers I used the word nice from that scrapbook paper and some washi and that is the final page and then in the back you have a pocket here that you can put something and we did fill this pocket with this little file folder tag and, and the little reindeer is just peeking out right there so this folds up so you end up with two signatures on each side giving you four signatures it's 60 plus um, pages and you just go ahead and tie it like that and then tie it in a bow okay so um, patreons this did this uh, will be available for you in a post in the patreon and the first uh, me will get it there if it's still available it'll be in the Etsy shop tomorrow um, right before the premiere so so watch for that it is going in the Etsy shop so again it did get reinforced it has the beautiful um, fabric from the quilt pieces that Big Mama sent me 
and I just think they were the perfect addition. I can't believe I forgot to take pictures of them before I did that, but <laughs> so. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you don't get put in time out just for not for not doing the challenges. Only if the the journal decides to put you in time out. That's that's how you get in time out. <laughs> okay. So there you go. That is um, that is I, I think I think it's good. I think that's all I'm going to do. I think I want to leave that back piece for. Um, for the new owner to do something to. And so I'll be going through my desk and you, they um, might get a few more of the things, but these will be um, added. The 10 tattoos will be added. You saw the stickers are already in there. So that gives you some fun things. You know what, there was a piece. I don't know where it went. Oh, well, if I find it, it will be in there, too. So, just so that there's some more. Yeah, there's a couple pieces of that we'll put in there. Um, how about a little bit of it? A little bit of bling. Oh, I'll share one of the teapots with you. I'm keeping one for myself, but I'll share a teapot because I think that'll go with it. Um, this, this came off my new wrapping paper. Put that in there. Uh, so we'll add a ticket. Aren't those cute? Those are from the, oh, I already sent, I already sent it out. The, the last journal that I made, the sweetest Christmas, um, journal, uh, the teapots were on the, the cut apart page. And I told you I was going to keep some of the cut aparts for myself. And, and I did. Oh, here's a piece of the Sally. You know what? Hmm. Part of me wants to keep this. I think I'm going to keep this. This was from um, from the Sally fabric. You know what? I still have the patchwork piece. I will keep the patchwork piece for myself. And I will put that in there. You guys, Sally is my sister-in-law that was killed in the horrible car accident earlier this year. And um, I ended up with a, the majority of her craft stash. So... Oh, I pictures of the two of you together. Oh, how fun. Have fun. I don't I don't even I I love her stuff. I would do my whole kitchen in her stuff. There they But um yeah. Oh, how cool. Yeah, no, I don't <laughs> Pictures. I want I want pictures. So uh, make sure that Kelly shares the pictures with us. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And video would be awesome also. Okay. So, I think I'm going to consider this finished. And, um, again, it will be Patreons today and um, then available tomorrow. And uh, immediate shipping out. I'm. I think I get to ship every. But I can only ship Monday through Friday here. Our post office, believe it or not, is actually closed on Saturday. Um, now, and our post office closes. Excuse me, closes at four, and the mail is picked up at two. So, um, yeah. And we want to get things out so that they're in the early part of the Christmas rush. So. Ah, that means hair and makeup. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, you are so funny. <laughs> you are so funny. You know what? I think we should give this 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 postcard. Maybe this is maybe I should sign this postcard. I don't know. Should I sign this journal? Where would I where should I sign it? The back page by the um yeah, the back page. I'll sign it. Cuz it's done. But we'll put this in in there. Your postage rates are super high. I've been um doesn't fit there. I guess it, this will go in the front pocket. Okay. And I will sign back here. Enjoy. Julie with a flower. 12, 22. There, signed. Yeah, I, isn't that something? I've heard of it too. And I, I'm pretty sure that in the beginning, a couple of mine were, because <clears throat> I had somebody buy it a bunch. But, you know, God works in mysterious ways and I actually needed the money to be able to help somebody and it, it was perfect. It was perfect, perfect timing. So I am grateful to have a way for God to be able to bless me with, um, dollars to be able to bless others and you know, it's, it's, uh, for many years, it was Mary Kay, and I literally saw, I saw it. <laughs> it's like somebody would say, oh my gosh, this is happening, and I, and, I, and I need this. And they never did it expecting. I mean, people never expected to be able to get money from me <laughs> because I don't, I don't have that uh, kind of uh, life. But... Um, and then I would be blessed in the exact amount that the person had said that, you know, that the spill was that they needed to, to take care of or um, they needed gas money to be able to do this. And um, so it was pretty, pretty crazy. So anyway, I need to go get some more things done. I want to thank you for joining me to finish this. And... Um, I'm pretty excited that it's that it's finished. I hope to see many of you at the uh, 1030 premiere today. Uh, we have our new challenge today. It starts today. The group is ready. And so, yeah. Oh, big mama. I feel ya. Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to, I'm hoping to decorate this weekend. The truck is full of Thanksgiving and Halloween still to get put in the sheds, but we can just uh, trade it out. <laughs> Take the truck and um, yeah, the truck has to go to the holiday shed, put things away and bring things out. And it'll actually be easier to put it away if we bring Christmas out and put it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Palm. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah. Okie dokie. This was fun. And I'm excited to have this finished. So, I do have another journal that um, got finished as well. So, I'll have two. And um, like I said, they'll go to the Patreons uh, first and then they'll be in the shop tomorrow, uh, right before the premiere. So um, if you're looking forward to those, that's when and where they'll be. And 
I appreciate them going to a new home. <laughs> so. Oh. Oh, yeah. Been there. Honey, do. <laughs> Okay, so thank you guys so much. I'll see you at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget that our premiers do have a live chat. And we would love to have you come in and chat with us. So have a great day. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye-bye. Stuck in my chair. <laughs>